All right, y'all. Hello and welcome to a, uh, another country uh, chicken picking lesson here. I'm uh, I'm super excited to share this one with you because these are some of my favorite country guitar ideas. I always love playing these. It's just um, I, I don't know. To to me, these ideas kind of sum up a lot of what chicken picking is all about. They've just got that you know. <laughs> You know, it's just got, it just sounds like chicken picking. Um, and um, another cool thing about these are, are it, they're, they're very usable through, you know, common country chord progressions like G, C, D, G, D, G, and A, A, D, and E. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to play these through G, C, D, D, G, A, and A, D, and E here. Um, but it's it's pretty simple, and you'll find that these uh, that, that these are fairly easy to play when you combine them with a hybrid, you know, uh, pick and finger technique, and also using your um, some some pull offs down here as well. So again, um, hit the link uh, down below the video description to get the tabs for this, and in the top pinned comment, and let's jump into it here. So what I'm going to do here. I think I've got five different chords that I'm going to show you how to play these ideas over, and then I'm going to go through and show you how to run those through a one-four-five chord progression. Um, so let's let's start with G here, and here's what we want to do with G. So we're going to do okay, and remember that's just our standard um, standard triad right there, and um, what we're going to do is have your pick hit the fourth string, and then have your middle and, uh, finger hit the third string, and your ring finger hit the second string. All right, so we're gonna do. But then what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off um, from the third string. We're gonna do. And we're gonna do that, um, let's see. We're gonna do that three times, and then we're gonna end with. We'll just hit that fourth string first, and then we'll hit the double stop. We'll do. So the idea will sound like this. We'll do. And we're gonna play that idea two times. So we're gonna do. So real quick, um, before we go on, for the rest of these ideas that I'm going to show you there, we're going to stick um, with that kind of motif and that technique. It's going to be the exact same thing. Now, I'm going to move it around. My left hand's going to move around. But that using that picking pattern and that idea on your left hand, we're going to use that for all of these ideas, okay? So I'm not going to go super into depth as we're moving these around here. But remember, we'll do pick on the fourth string, middle finger on the third, ring finger on the second, and then we're going to do... Doing the pull off, uh, the pull off on the third string. Okay. Um, sometimes you'll hear, you know, great players like Albert Lee will actually pick that. He'll be like, "I've tried to do that. I can't do it." Um, so, so I just kind of, I just do a little pull off right there, and it, 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 it I can execute the same idea um, with about the same amount of articulation. Plus, it's way easier. So, again. <laughs> Okay, that's one place to do it in G. Here's another one. We're gonna come up here. So that's pinky finger on the ninth fret of the fourth, middle finger on the seventh fret of the third string, and pointer finger on the sixth fret of the second. Again, technique's gonna be the same. We're gonna do. Again, doing the, doing the pull off on the third string. We're pulling off from the fretted, the fretted note on that seventh fret to the open string, doing. Okay, so that's two of these ideas over G. We've got... And then we come up here. Okay, so that's two over G. 
Um, so I'm just gonna go through the chords here. So now let's do two over C. And so for C, we're gonna start here, we're gonna do. All right. And that is with your pinky finger on the eighth fret of the fourth string, pointer finger on the fifth fret of the third and the second string. And it, But again, technique's the same. I'm just pulling off to that open third string. Okay, that's one place to do it in C. Here's another one. We're gonna do a little triad up here, and that's ring finger. 10th uh, fret of the 4th string, middle finger, ninth fret of the 3rd, pointer finger, 8th fret of the 2nd. Same deal though. Okay. So again, two different places to do it in C. And then up here. Okay. So that's two different ways of doing it in C. Now let's do two different ways of doing it in D. All right, so for D, we're, we're gonna use the, our second shape for G that we did a minute ago. This little dominant seven, um, like with the major third down here, and then I, th I think that's the fifth. <laughs> and then the, yeah, exactly. So we've got the third, the fifth, and the dominant seven right here. We're just gonna move that shape down here, and we'll do. And then we'll come up here for another way to do it in D. Kind of like the first way of doing it in C a minute ago. Just move it up two frets and we'll do. Again, technique is the same. Technique is the same. Pick on the fourth string, uh, middle finger on the third, ring finger on the second, and then we pull off to the open third string. So two different ways of doing it in D. And then up here. Um, so now while we're here, let's do two in E, and all we're going to do in E is do the exact same two that we did in D, but we're just going to move everything up two frets. We're going to do, uh, so for E. Same thing as D, we just move it up two frets. And for E, uh, and, and then we'll do the same as that second one we did in D, just move it up two more frets. I hope you can see why I like doing these so much because it's just, it's easy. And it's easy to really feel the groove when you're playing these two, especially if you got like a really solid drummer playing like a train beat or something along those lines. It doesn't, <laughs> it's like the only beat I ever play along with, but they're they're fun to play with. Um, but it's easy to feel the groove when you're playing. <laughs> Alright, so that was two, uh, again, in E one more time. And up here. Okay. So now we've got, I've got one more and we're gonna do, um, we're gonna do an A, but in A I've got three of them. Okay, so the first one in A, I want us to do right here. So that's fourth fret of the fourth string. And then I've got the pointer finger on the second fret of both the third and second strings. Again, technique's the same though. So that's one way of doing it in A. Another one is to come up here and do this triad. Same deal. And then a third way to do it in A is up here in this little dominant seven shape. Like we've done with, um, we did that for G, D, N, E. Okay, so this one. So one more time, three different shapes in A. We've got up here and up here. Okay. So that's, um, that's a few different ways of doing these ideas over five chords. We did G, C, D, E, and A, okay? Um, so now, yeah, G, C, D, E, and A, okay, yeah, that's fine. All right, so now let's do these through three chord progressions. Let's do it through G, C, D, 
D, G, A, and A, D, and E. Okay? So for G, C, and D, we're going to do... For G... And then we'll come up here. For C, we're going to do... And then up here... For D, G, and A, we'll do... I'm sorry, not D, G, and A, just D. Up here. Back to G, C, and D. So one more time, we've got G. To C. D. Back to G. Okay. So there's that through G, C, and D. So real quick, let's hear how that sounds with the backing track. Okay, so now that we've done G, C, and D, now let's do D, G, and A. So for D, G, and A, um, you know, we'll have a lot of repeat ideas from the past chord progression, but let's go ahead and start with D down here. We'll do... For D and for G, we'll come down here. Okay, so that's for G. Now for A, I want us to go through all three for A. Let's do... Let's go back to B after that. Okay. So let's hear how that sounds with a backing track. Okay, so now that we've done G, C, D, and D, G, and A, let's do A, D, and E. Okay, so that's going to be, um, we're going to do uh, down here for A. Up here. So we'll do all three for A. And then for D, we'll come down here. And then for E, let's just move that up two frets. Let's go back down to A. All right, so let's hear how that sounds with the backing track. All right, very cool. So, um, so anyway, these are just these are some fun. There's some very usable ideas that I think really sums up a lot of what chicken picking um, is about. It's that that picking finger technique, getting that kind of deliberate staccato sound. <laughs> Anyway, you can hear, you know, a lot of the country guitar greats. Obviously, these are most associated with Albert Lee, but you'll hear Brent Mason use them a lot. You'll hear Johnny Highland use them a lot. you hear Guthrie Trapp use them a lot. I mean, they're just really cool, very usable um, country guitar, chicken picking sounding um, ideas here. So, all right. Thanks so much for hanging out today. Remember to hit the um, uh, down in the video description and in the top pinned comment if you'd like to get the tabs for this lesson, and I will see you next time.